Two. Okay, I'm English and I live in England. I've got a Moto G first generation here, XT1032. I've just flashed in the Brazilian retail dual SIM DSDS firmware. I'll show you that now. There you go, it says 210.12.40.falcon underscore UMTSDS, which is dual SIM, dot Brazil dot EMBR. Okay? There's a build number. There's all the rest of the information. So that's now on KitKat. So what I'm going to do now is restart this phone in uh, bootloader mode, go into the stock recovery, and I've copied the zip across this zip here. I'll show you the full file name in a second. That is the uh, blur version. I'll just get the MD5 for you. There's the MD5 in the middle of the screen there. Leave that on the screen so you can pause it and look at it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart this phone in bootloader mode, go into recovery and flash the zip which I've copied into the root of the internal memory. Flash that zip I showed you, the, which is the OTA capture, and come back to you. Okay, I'm now in bootloader mode. The camera doesn't want to focus at the moment for some reason. Let me try and get my camera to focus. If it would be so kind. Doesn't want to focus. Anyway, I'm going to go down, then go up, so I'm in recovery. Ignore the uh, bootloader warning, that's a load of, load of nonsense and hype from Motorola. So, you'll see the little droid appear with the with the uh, exclamation mark. So what you do now is you see the volume control buttons here. You hold those down for about two seconds. Tap the power button. You've now got this menu here. Reboot system now, obviously not. Apply update from SD card. Go down, press the power button, down to the blur version and the power button. It should now try and update it. I'm hoping this will work. This is the first time I've tried this. So I'm hoping it's going to work. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm recording this on a Moto G 2nd gen. XT1068, if it matters. So it's just verifying all the, uh, the information it needs to update. So what I've done, basically, the XT1033 dual SIM firmware, which is Brazilian uh, stroke Indian, I think, as well, I flashed that onto a single SIM XT1032. It didn't seem to make much difference. My, my normal SIM card worked in there. It restarted itself and the other SIM card slot, which obviously doesn't exist, was disabled. So, fine. That's great. So it seems to be working. This, this is the first time I've tried it. I've just downloaded the update and the Brazilian firmware. It seems to be working, so fantastic. As I said, this is a UK... A UK... Uh, Moto G. I'll show you the box, but not my IMEI number. There you go. I'll show you the type version. When it decides to focus. Come on, camera. Anyway, take my word for it, it's a UK. It's actually a UK Vodafone Moto G. Still going, look, still flashing. So, let's get some more light on it, there we go. No, it doesn't want to focus. Or does it? Is it thinking about it? Let's try on the desk. There we go. Motorola XT1032 GB. So there we go. So it's still updating itself. I'm sure it'll take quite a time. 
what I'll do is I'll uh, pause the video and come back once it's finished because I'm sure you'll find this very, very th uh, thrilling and stimulating to watch this update itself. So, um, we'll be back shortly once it finishes. Cheers. Okay, folks, so this uh, update is taking quite some time as I anticipated. So, what I'm going to do, I I skipped about three minutes of the update, so it should finish quite soon. I'm just basically going to film the rest of the update. The progress bar, as you can see here, the blue progress bar is pretty much, I'd say, about 60 or 70% finished. So, yeah, that's that, that, this is a UK 10, six, sorry, UK uh, XT1032 single sim variant. Just going to uh, wait for it to finish doing its flashing. Well, Mr. Android looks very happy. He's like, oh wow, I'm going to get some uh, lollipop inside me. Lovely. He looks very pleased with himself, doesn't he? Come on. I think the end of the progress bar is about well, that's where it is now, underneath the... Let me get a pointing stick. Let me get a stylus. That's the progress bar where it is now. I think the actual finish, the progress bar, is at the end of those three dots there. So, shouldn't be too much longer to go. Removing unneeded system... Sorry, removing unneeded files. Yeah, in other words, removing Kit Kat, because it's not needed. <laughs> so, I shall see what happens, eh? I'm anticipating a nice clean, well, updated clean install, an updated install of Lollipop and not some Cyanogen mod version with broken drivers. This is a proper full. I'm not sure if it's an OTA, I'm not, sorry, I'm not sure if it's a final uh, release or a soak test, but we'll soon see. So, still going on. Perhaps I'll pause it again and come back in a minute because the video is going on a bit. So am I. Bye. Step further now. It's patching boot image, unpacking new system files. The progress bar has moved a little bit. When it says patching boot image, I presume that means it's going to patch it so you can't uh, downgrade to a different version of. Uh, of Android like KitKat, but I'm not sure. Unpacking new system files. Hmm. You want to hurry up, don't you? Really? My video is getting to eight minutes now. I'm pretty sure this will be the first video on YouTube showing this actual update on the uh, first gen Moto G. So, if you can't put up with a few minutes of extra waiting, well, I'm sorry. This is the only video that's going to show it so far. Mr. Android! Oh look, what's it doing? Renaming files. Sim links and permissions. Updating logo. Removing unneeded files from modem. Now I need my modem to contact the internet. Ooh. Install from SD card complete. We're all done. So look at that. Let's, let's do a... Let's do a a short pan down to show you what it did. Okay, so now it says reboot system. So you press in the uh, power button here, reboot system. This is a first boot live on camera. Warning bootloader unlocked. Your device's bootloader has been unlocked, allowing critical software components to be old. Blah 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 blah. Yes, okay, we get it. You're paranoid, Motorola. If you unlock your bootloader, we're going to make you paranoid. Okay. First boot, live on camera. Well, not live on camera, but on camera. This is an XT1032, flashed with the Brazilian retail XT1033 firmware, and updated with the OTA from XDA forums. So we shall see what happened. I'm pretty confident it'll be a lollipop. I haven't quite yet decided whether I'm going to wait 
Oh, look at that. There we go, it's working. I'm not quite sure if I'm actually going to upgrade my... Um, this The phone I'm recording this on, the 10, XT1068, the Moto G 2nd Gen Dual SIM UK. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that manually or just wait for the official update because it's my only main phone. This is a spare phone, which one of my family members is having soon. And they're not fussed which version of Android they have. But I want them to have the best version of it, obviously. So... Lollipop has obviously installed itself, it's optimising all the apps, so I'll pause that and come back. Cheers, cheerio! Okay, so the optimization, the uh, the art, I presume this is the art runtime. Optimising optimizing the apps, <coughs> excuse me, optimising the apps. It's almost finished now, so we're about to boot for the first time into Lollipop on a UK XT1032. 8 gigabyte. I'm just writing a tutorial as I speak and then anyway, I should hopefully have that online at some point in the next 24 <coughs> excuse me at some point in the next 24 hours I should have should have the tutorial online how to do it so Android is upgrading bloody bloody blah and the ring is spinning around like crazy oh not long to go now folks a couple of seconds the white balance has gone berserk but hey, it's doing it. It's doing it. I don't believe it, said Victor Meldrew. Right. Sorry about this lack of focus and white balance accuracy, guys. Starting apps. Finishing boot. Etc, etc, etc. And... Hang on a minute. Oh, I was about to say, the wallpaper. That looks like Kit Kat, but it's not. Obviously, it's a... Uh, <laughs> it's not. It's Lollipop. Hey, let's have a look around, shall we? First things first. Let's go to setting. Before I get told off and told I'm fake... Oops. Before I get told I'm faking it. Let's go to About Phone. Go away. Later. Let's go to About Phone, OK? Moto G. 5.0 falcon underscore umts ds dot brazil dot en dot br there you go folks that is lollipop polylop jelly pop lolly bean whatever there you go oh, look, so there's a brazilian app there whatever that's for um, let's do the yeah Multitasking is working. Anyway, there you have it. That's the latest version of Android. I don't know what's going on with the app launcher. Why isn't it white? Okay. Camera. Let's see if the camera is working. Camera is working. By the looks of it. I don't know why the app drawer isn't white, perhaps they've changed it to a black theme, who knows. I'll come back with updates later on anyway, this video is really dragging on now. Let's just lock the screen. There's all our cards, so they're called. There's the settings. Whoops. Definitely, uh, definitely lollipop. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Goodbye from the UK.